Well, this time of year, we have a lot of For Your Life fans writing in requesting new recipe ideas for entertaining guests. We're excited to answer the call and bring you a couple of appetizing new thoughts on how to wow your family and friends at your next get together. I'm in one of Toronto's premier cooking schools, and I'm really excited about what we've got coming up. We brought together two extremely talented cooks and food bloggers who'll be competing to show off their creativity. Now, the key ingredient we'll feature is mushrooms. But here's the kicker. I don't even like mushrooms, so they're really gonna have to wow me on this one. Let's meet our cooks. My name's Brittany Stagger, and I've been a food blogger for the past six years, but by day I work in food marketing, which is really great because I'm really passionate about food. My name is Carol Nelson Brown. I've been food blogging for about six years, and now I work as a cooking instructor and recipe developer. Stacy's going to like my meatball the best because who doesn't like a meatball? I think Stacy's going to like my dish the best because not only is it filled with really yummy beef and mushroom spicy filling, but there's a really flaky pastry. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take some butter. So real butter. Real using. butter. And then in here, what do we have? I have um, a chopped onion, three scallions, some scotch bonnet pepper, which is a really spicy Jamaican pepper. What kind of mushrooms are you using? We are using a mixture of white and cremini mushrooms. Just give them a few pulses okay. until they uh, grind up and they look like ground beef. They're magic. So one of the reasons I add mushrooms is because if you leave mushrooms in the sun for a little bit, they generate their own vitamin D. Often growers will give them a blast of UV for a couple minutes. So these are ready now. We can put them in the bowl. They've softened. So what we're going to do is add our beef and the mushrooms. So as you can see, the mushrooms are blending right in there with the beef, and you can't really even see the difference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these aromatics back into the pan. Okay. As well as this mixture of curry powder and Jamaican allspice. Ooh, so it's Very. Give it a little more kick. Yes. And the next thing I'm going to add is about a quarter cup of fresh breadcrumbs. Another really important Jamaican ingredient is thyme. Okay. So we're going to just lay some sprigs of thyme. I always thought that I needed to take it all off individually. No, the leaves will actually fall off while it cooks. So now we're going to add about a half a cup of chicken stock. Okay, so now we're going to cover it. Mm -hmm. We're just going to leave this on medium low for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to be back. I'm going to check on Brittany. Okay. So how's it coming along, Brittany? It's coming along great, thanks for asking. So what are we doing here? So I'm making blended meatballs. And this, I believe, is mushrooms, that right? That is mushrooms. Okay. I've actually already processed them in the food processor. Okay. And you know, get that texture like ground beef, and I've cooked them down in a little bit of olive oil. And as you can see, it looks very much like ground beef already. It looks exactly like ground beef. Which is key for someone like you, because from what I understand, you I don't, don't like mushrooms. like mushrooms. So that's the secret ingredient in, this, in these meatballs today, is these uh, finely chopped mushrooms. Now that those are cool, we're going to build our meat base, which okay. consists of some ground beef, mm -hmm. breadcrumbs, onions, garlic. Mmm, garlic, I love oh, the smell of garlic. gotta have garlic. And you know what, this, this recipe is so simple and easy with just a few ingredients. And then we have an egg. So now that we've got everything in our bowl here, we're gonna add in our cooled, finely chopped mushrooms. mushrooms. And I've used white button in this recipe, but mm -hmm. you could actually use any mushrooms that you have on hand. Okay. And now the fun part. Getting the hands all sticky. Getting the hands in there and forming that together. So once everything's sort of incorporated, you're going to take your meatball and just form it ever so slightly in your hand and put it on a parchment lined baking tray. Okay, so I'm gonna let you finish and I'm gonna go check in on Carol. Great, okay. thanks. Stay tuned to see our cooks finish those mushroom appetizers, which turn out amazing, and find out the winner. 